Yo, I want to talk with you about thinking. All thoughts are actions and how we think majorly impacts our feeling. Also impacts our body. So thinking, very important. A lot of us think about, I believe some scientists have discovered that we do like a million thoughts a day. And if we're not conscious of what we're thinking about, we are fueling those things either attracting them to our lives or enhancing the effects they're having on us. Are you getting up in the morning and is your thirst first thought, oh man, I didn't slept enough. I don't have energy. Or is the first thought you have when having a, had a good dinner, like a big meal, your first thought is, oh man, that was too much. I don't feel well because of it. I'm over, I've overeaten, I gained weight. Well, chances are in both scenarios, that is coming, that is becoming a reality for you. And we don't want to start believing our thought on our own thoughts too often. So if we're tripping over my words, but we want to validate the experience and let teach, let like life teach us or God. I would like to call it God because it's really him that it, he's, like, he's like the only one I can really rely on because I noticed so many times just today, I started walking outside. I started thinking, man, I'm getting burned out. I'm getting I need to recover. I'm tired. I'm depressed. Uh, this office job is not for me. All of those things. And then 30 minutes in, felt amazing. My body started flowing again. Everything's better. And it's because I just dropped my thoughts at some point. I was like, I'm just going to zone out, focus on my breathing, focus on my walking and let nature decide what's right for me and present it to me with clarity. And very often my experience is that when we finally reach that point of clarity, there are no really thoughts there judging us what we are. We just know. So it's not a thought, I am, I haven't slept properly, I need to rest. It's just a, an uh, intuitive feeling you know you need to rest. Probably has to do something with your sleep. A very big difference. So listen to your heart versus listen to what your mind says. Your mind goes on spinning every day. Now, a couple key takeaways here. So keep first become aware. What are you thinking? Is it positively affecting you or is it negatively? Second, we want to break free from the pattern. So either go walking, go running, go work out. Keep yourself busy with something so you don't go all up in your head about it. So we kind of let go of the beliefs we have. Meditation could also do that. Even prayer. I say to God, God, I am thinking about this. I'm not sure if it's true. I can't believe myself. Please, I give it to you. Reveal to me what's right to do at this point or reveal to me what is true. And then you'll know it, yet not in the thought thing you had yourself. So we wanna become aware, detach, uh, let go. And then we wanna start focusing on the things that are actually good for us with our thoughts. Because we could also fall in the trap of thinking about the things we have to do in the future thinking about the things that were done in the past and even maybe worrying about the present as not doing anyone any good. There's a time for planning. There's a time for reflecting. There's very little time for worrying, but pick those times, set a schedule. Today, I'm, now I'm gonna plan my day, 10 minutes, and then I'm done with thinking about things ahead. One of my mentors, Elliot Hilsey says, don't think about doing it until you are doing it. Now keep that in mind as you go out your day. Am I thinking about the things in the future? 
Or am I present with what I'm doing? Another way of putting it is, you can only cross a bridge when you are there. So why bother thinking about the bridge when it's far off in the distant distance? You want to cross it. You'll know how to cross it when you get there and what to think about it. For now, focus on the beautiful birds, on the green pastures, on a bright sun, or anything happening in your life that's amazing. Fill your heart with gratitude for that. And this is where the third thing, positive affirmations come in, or positive focus. Because in your current situation, there's always something to be grateful for. There's always something that's going to be uplifting. There's always something that you could look on that is positive, and usually it's in the present already, it's happening right now. Lastly, you could also do think about a bridge in the future and be already thankful for it, that you're gonna cross it. This is more of a um, manifesting your future already in your mind. So it will make it easy to get to that place. Uh, yeah, you do have to believe it. And honestly, I find that more difficult because what's happening in the present, it's tangible. We can taste it, we can feel it, we can smell it, we can see it, we are, we, we are in it. So it's a lot easier to be grateful for that. Now, I do like to combine the two. So, you know, my, my goal in life is to one day have my own house, right? Buy my own house out in nature, out in the forest. I do have my own house now. I just haven't bought it. I just rent it. Also, it's not that close to nature. I would like it to. However, how I practice then positive affirmations is about, oh, I'm so thankful I got this house, actually got a house. And when I then went on my walk, I'd be like, I'm so grateful I am able to live next to nature or in nature. Same thing, you just apply it to what's happening right now. Um, reminds me of one thing, and then I'm gonna round this video up, is that oftentimes it's closer than we think. When you're praying for a for something or you want you're wanting something, look look what's in front of you. Usually, the, it, the thing is there already, maybe in a smaller degree, but there is something that relates to it. You can start being grateful for that, filling up your cup with that, and then from that it will start at some point start to overflow, and the thing you're seeking will present itself in your life. And then you can do the same thing there and the same thing there. The key takeaway is don't lose yourself in your mind about the, the things that aren't real, that you make up yourself. Keep your mind grounded in the present, in what's happening. Fill it up with gratitude for it. And you'll be well on your way to taking charge of the massive, um, the, the massive potential Yes, the massive potential we have with our minds to bring beautiful beauty into the world, bring beautiful things, make, make it happen and have positive impact. So it can be used either way. Destroy, destroy yourself or build yourself up. Hey, let's choose the latter. Stick with me here as I cover all these principles. And this was the second of six foundation principles. Just to give you a short reminder, we talked about eating, drinking, breathing, moving, sleeping, and thinking. And thinking is where it all begins. What we think about, we manifest. So make sure your thoughts are in the right space so we can have positive impact and be life giving. All right, peace out. Have a wonderful day.